What is up everyone? Welcome to the channel. If you're new, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Returning Cali Squad members, welcome back as well. So right now I'm about to get into this, uh, basically this response. Um, if you guys haven't been paying attention, um, there was this viral TikTok video where this uh, girl was in the gym and she basically made it seem as though this guy was uh, being a creep towards her. But in reality, he was just trying to help her out. And it pretty much went viral and now it looks like she's uh she's issued an apology after you know all the backlash so let's see it says my gross mistake addressing the gym video so twit longer so it says this was posted on the 24th it says a lot of my content is light-hearted and humorous but i want to start off by saying this is the most serious thing I have ever posted. First of all, I want to apologize sincerely to the man at the gym where this all started. He didn't do anything wrong to me and I blew our interaction out of proportion, which is what typically happens, you know, in these types of situations. Women make uh, false claims and assumptions against men and the man 99.99% .99 of the time, you know, faces an extreme backlash towards it and very rarely is a woman you know reprimanded in a sense but she's taking accountability here it says i know many people think that i'm only apologizing because i got called out from the video i posted and that is half right if i wasn't called out for this video i wouldn't have had the chance to learn from this mistake or even realize i made a mistake to begin with when i first posted the video i felt i was completely in the right and I felt I was making a good attempt to connect and relate to my female audience who may have dealt with uncomfortable situations at the gym. Well, if you initially watched the video, she's clearly recording herself as well as everybody around here within the gym. So in a sense, you're kind of invading the personal privacy of the people in the gym because they didn't really, you know, they didn't ask to be recorded. Let's see. And now after reading literally thousands of comments about me, the situation and the man in question it truly opened my eyes to how damaging this could have been for him. Exactly. Men and women deal with very different problems in the realm of the opposite sex. And after looking through the lens of an innocent man put in a situation like that, it honestly made me feel sick to my stomach with guilt. Before writing this, I was posting whatever made me feel justified for the video, which was wrong on my part. That was the ego. So at least she's, she's humbling herself a bit. And I am extremely immature for doing so and trying to make light of a situation that is a lot more serious and should be taken that way. Okay, now right here she's about to get into her personal experiences and probably her justification of her actions. I've suffered from sexual assault and sexual harassment prior to the situation. And in the past, these events were extremely damaging to me. After speaking with friends that are honest with me, I was able to keep an open and understanding mind. It took literally thousands of people displaying their distaste for the way I acted for me to realize this in full effect. I mean, in the video, you're calling that dude Pharaoh and he deserved to have his, his, reproductive organs cut off and so that was basically you were speaking from a place of past hurt and you were projecting it onto a dude that was just trying to help you with the weights because it looked like you were struggling with putting on the weights let's see because the man at the gym did nothing damaging to me and i still felt threatened in the situation I reacted by trying to cope with it in probably the worst way possible. My past is an excuse or justification for what I did, but it is something I want to personally and professionally address with a therapist in the future. Because I don't want to and will never hurt anyone ever again in this way. The jokes I included in the TikTok were far from tasteful and funny. I look back at the video now and cringe that it ever even got posted again. Because of the wake up call given to me by mainly Joey Swole in this community. If you don't know, Joey Swole, he typically comments on these types of videos where women accuse dudes of behaving a certain type of way in gyms. 
let's see I think it's important to call people out on their mistakes and in the words of Joey help them do better this is exactly what I plan to do with not just my content but my life moving forward now this is already becoming a lot to read and honestly I consider making a video to help convey my sincerity for what I'm saying but I also want to pr prove this isn't a publicity stunt or a way to farm clicks so I feel like this is the best way to express what I'm doing to move forward. I mean yeah because people would say oh you're just trying to monetize the uh, apology or whatever. Let's see. So I'm deciding to remove the videos off of all my platforms because I don't want this misconception. Some people might think this is a way of me hiding the video or sweeping it under the rug, but this text isn't going anywhere. I eventually decided that there's no real combination of words I could put together to gain the trust of my community and the people who are just discovering me in the worst way possible. With my 600,000 followers on TikTok and as an influencer, I hold a lot of responsibility to use my platform in a way that spreads love and happiness, which I did the exact opposite of that. I'm sorry to the men and women who deal with or have dealt with false slash true allegations of sexual assault or sexual harassment. And if I made their situations feel belittled by mine, I apologize to my fans who supported me and been supporting me through this i messed up and i'm going to just own this mistake i love making content and sharing my experiences with my community and people in general and hope i'm able to show growth not only in a few days and weeks but months and years as i continue to be able to do what i love this will be an ugly scar on my character for a long time until i can show that i am growing i just hope people give me the chance to so truly i'm sorry and I'm not say that I'm, I'm sorry like it's going to fix everything. I'm going to show and prove to everyone that this is not who I am. And this is not who I'm going to continue to be. Mistakes help me grow and I'm willing to learn and take people's constructive criticism where it's needed. In hopes of moving on after the situation, I will no longer be discussing the topic any further. Along with that, I will be taking a break from social media until I am in the right mental space to keep making content. Thank you for reading. Love you all. P.S. I don't have an OnlyFans. I have Fan House, which is a SWF website where I connect with my supporters. Yeah, people are saying she had an OnlyFans. She basically, it's a website where she uh, dress, do, does cosplay and stuff, which is kind of like softcore uh, modeling or whatever. But... At least she's taking accountability for that because, you know, people, they, a lot of times women, they'll accuse somebody of something and then there's no type of backlash or no type of apology from them initiating the situation. So I'm glad she took accountability for the situation. You know, this is clearly um, a learning lesson. You know, everybody that is the ones looking at you in the gym, I mean... You got to look at it from the guy's perspective, right? You see someone in the gym. They have a video that's kind of like pointed, recording you in a sense. You see the girl kind of like talking to herself, right? And then you also see her struggling with the weights. As a guy, you're going to walk on over and try to offer some assistance. You know, I've, I've been in a gym before where I've seen someone uh, on a squat rack night, not... Uh, in a proper position they were leaning this way and I've seen there's been a situation where a person almost fell over with the weight so anytime I've seen something like that in the gym whether it's a guy or a female I always you know um, gave them advice on how to like you know properly you know you use, use the, the the squatting um, bar and whatnot so as a person not to hurt themselves but she took accountability, so. So this is basically what people is bringing up, this right here. So this, she does, she dresses up in these uh, costumes on her fan house thing. So. 
But at least you took accountability for the situation, which is the most important. So. But guys, that's going to do it for my reaction. Comment below what you guys think about this situation. If you didn't know about this situation um, and you want to know more than what uh, was covered in this video, you can just uh, type your name in and it, you'll get the full breakdown of the whole situation. Also, be sure to uh, like the video, share it. Um, what else? My clothing website, 6893.com. Be sure to check that out. I got something on there for everybody, so be sure to check that out. I also offer um, various discounts depending on what type of items you purchase on there. So the link for that will be in the description box. Uh, my single time flies is out. Be sure to stream that on all streaming platforms. Uh, the pre-save for my album Cali World is out too. And other than that, until the next video, peace.